LIG Next One is showcasing its concept of MUM team, man and man teaming. So showcasing several unmanned systems, USVs, UAVs, as well as UUVs on the other side. To learn more with us is uh, Young Suk Kim. Thanks for welcoming us. So MMT, man and man teaming, can you tell us more about LIG Next One's uh, concept? Well, LIG Next One has been putting a lot of effort into developing man and man and teaming multi system. South Korean Navy is trying to make a development about the man and man teaming. The name, name of the policy is called Navy Sea Ghost. So LH Next One has been trying to be aligned with the policy of South Korean Navy. So we're, we have developed a, a lot of unmanned system, which can be operated with manned system as well. So we have C, a USB family called Seesaw. We have a variety of ver variety version, Seesaw 2, 3, and 5, and even uh, M Hunter. Also, we do have drone system. MPUH or, or VTOL drone. Also, we do have underwater system, AUV or UUV. So, all combined, LH Next One is prepared for South Korean Navy's policy and also the policy of world, uh, world, worldwide end users. Young Suk, what's the USB behind you? Well, right behind me is Seesaw 2. Well, that's not the mock up or the uh, miniature. That is the actual Sea Sword 2, which can be operated right now at the sea. So, the main mission of the Sea Sword 2 is the surveillance and reconnaissance at the maritime level. The sea worthiness of Sea Sword 2 has been verified. It can be operated at sea, uh, sea State 4. And as you can see, there is on my uh, right there is a 20 millimeter RCWS station. So not only just surveillance and reconnaissance, it has the capability of engaging or neutralizing our enemy targets at the sea. What's the drone uh, currently on the Sea Sword 2? Well, the yellow one, which looks like drone behind me, is called underwater platform, which can be towed by the Sea Sword 2. It is for surveillance underwater, so it's just like a sonar, a mini sonar for Sea Sword 2. And here you are showcasing three more USBs. Yes, we have Sea Sword 3, 5, and M Hunter. Well, the missions of the those three vessels are different. First of all, the sea, mission of Sea Sword 3 is to neutralize enemy targets at the sea. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, armaments compared to Sea Sword 2 or 5. There are missile launcher, which can load up to eight, uh, like 70 millimeter guided rocket. There's one of our most advanced and cost-effective missile. Also, we do have 12, 12 mm RCWS station at the front of Caesar 3. And the Caesar 5 is the most compact version of Caesar family. The length is about 8 meters. It is uh, perfectly suitable for mothership concept of um, a man, on, man on man teaming. So, as you can see, the mast of the Caesar 5 is uh, pretty much short, shorter than other USVs. That is for the efficiency of operation of mothership concepts. The last one is called M Hunter. Uh, as you can guess from the, its name, that is for detection of sea mines, which can be operated with another mine sweep, manned minesweeper. So that is kind of a, our concept to concept of man on man teaming to provide better efficiency of operation to South Korean Navy and also for another world uh, navies from other countries. Last but not least, Young Sook, the UUVs, what can you tell us about those two UUVs? So, first one right next to me is called Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, AUV. That is for mine detection. It can be operated by being mounted on the M Hunter vehicle in order to improve the efficiency of operation or the capability of the operation. As you are fully aware, LH Next One has the cutting edge uh, state of a technology of mine detection or sonar system. So that is one of our results or a combination of our technology for mine detection. And the one right behind me is called uh, extra large unmanned underwater vehicle. The purpose of unmanned system is ultimately to improve the survivability of operators by using the same technology of the man, uh, manned submarine system. So we have like sonar, uh, cutting sonar technology or torpedo system. 
So basically, extra large UUV can do, do the same thing that a uh, manned submarine can do.